Hello, this is Austin, and I'm going to show you how to set up your Jarvis program designed by Michael C. and how to set it up to play Spotify playlists. I'm going to assume that you've already got your Jarvis program at least up and running. I have a specialized voice, and I have other things set up which you can learn how to do at Michael C. Jarvis's videos on YouTube. I will link to that in the description below. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Spotify and choose the playlist you'd want. Now, I'm going to use my starred playlist. So, we're going to scroll up to the top here, and you're going to select the top one and hit Control A. That's going to select all of them. Hit Control C, and that will copy all of them. Now, we're going to bring that over here into a nifty little Excel spreadsheet that I had more or less set up ahead of time, and we're going to paste it into the first row of column B. So, that's Control V, paste. Bring this out a bit here. These are all my tracks in my playlist. So what we're going to do is, in order to get some numbers in here, because we're going to need numbers, we're going to hit 1, and then we're going to hit 2. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to hit the equal sign, then we're going to click, and then we're going to hit Shift Plus, and then we're going to hit 1. Now, what that does is that's a little formula that creates a number list sort of thinger. There's probably an easier way to do it. Don't know. Anyways, I'm going to hit Control C, and that's going to copy the formula. I'm going to go drag and drag it all the way down to the bottom here. Control V. That's going to paste. It's going to duplicate all my formulas all the way down. Copy the column. Copy. Copying is very important at this stage. I'm not going to explain why. Paste. Values. Now, gets rid of all our formulas. See over here, this gives us a formula. Now, we have a number. Control X, Control V, and there we go. We have all our nice tracks numbered. So, you can set your tracks up in any order you want. It's really less relevant. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit Alt F11. And that's going to bring up a VBS thinger. So we're gonna, you're going to want to hit Insert, and you're going to hit Module. That's going to bring up this little module box right here. Now, I've already done it. So then what you're going to do is you're going to copy this little blurb of code. And then what you're going to hit is F5. And that's going to refresh your spreadsheet and extract all the URLs to every one of your songs. So now close that. You can find that little piece of code in the comment section on, or uh, let's see, the detail section of this video. And then we have column C with all our nifty little things. Now, as far as I understand that little piece of code right there, I did not write it. I will link to the page that did write it, to the guy who did write it. And basically what it does is it just puts out it extracts all the URLs from your URL text to the column immediately to the right. Very simple program. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to select the whole thing, and we're going to hit Filter and Select. We're going to hit Replace. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy this section here, HTTP through track and the height and the uh, and it, so it's going to copy this and put it right in here. Then you're going to go for Spotify, track, and this will change the format so that Jarvis can read it. Um, so we're going to hit Replace All. Excel has completed the search and has made 148 replacements. It is very, you have to make sure that this and this are both very precise. Otherwise, if you have one error, Jarvis won't work, and you'll be frustrated forever like I was when I realized that I had missed one letter in the word Spotify. So now that we have all this stuff finished, we can just re-import it to Jarvis, right? Actually, no. We've got to do one more step because Jarvis doesn't like things in a table format. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy, control C, all of this information into a text document. And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to paste all your numbers in here, and then you're going to paste all your words in here, all your track names, and then the last one you're going to paste all the URLs. I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to go all the way down to 48. I'm going to hit shift and click, and it's going to copy, or it's going to select all of them. Copy. Now we're going to go into Jarvis. And here we go, opening up Jarvis. Hello, Dakota. Allow me to load the necessary files. Twice. It is good to see you again, Dakota. 
The time is 12.14 p.m. and the weather in New London is like snow at 11 degrees. How can I help? If you'd like to know how to set up the weather, current weather in your area, look in Michael C. Jarvis's YouTube videos, which he thoroughly explains, and that's how I learned how to do half this stuff. So, what you're going to do is say, stop listening. I will await further commands. See, if I don't say that, Jarvis is going to forever be like, oh, track 48, or oh, we should close, the, shut down the computer, or oh, any number of other commands that he might accidentally recognize in the middle of my speech pattern. So, new, we're going to go to web commands. Now, I've already pasted all these in here, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to paste all the numbers in the first line. And then what you're going to do is you're going to paste all the album names, or all the song names, in the response line. So he'll say the name of the, res he'll say the name of this. Now you could get fancy and you could create all kinds of stuff. I mean like you could set the command to the name of the song, you could set the um, response to, oh now we're gonna play some jazz, or any number of other fun responses. But I just did it easy and used whatever happened to be available. So you've got numbers, which are a lot easier to memorize, sort of. I mean, you could just pick a random number than trying to memorize the name of random songs, which you could have a list next to you, but that kind of gets annoying. So anyways, then you've got the Spotify tracks, and this is where you paste all those nifty little... So you've got your... So you've got all your stuff here, all your track names, and then you've got all the Spotify information. Now, if you paste this correctly and all the lines match up, everything's going to work correctly. So then you hit save, and here's the important part. The first time that you put in, a, or any time you edit the commands, you have to shut Jarvis down completely and turn him back on. Now, I have already shut Jarvis down, and I've already turned him back on, so I'm not going to do that to save time in this video. Now, we're going to close this out. Then we're going to have Jarvis come back online. Jarvis, come back online. Online and ready. 29. Super chick. Hey, hey. Stop listening. I will await further commands. So, there he is, playing my music. So, very simple. And in fact, he's good enough that he can continue to switch tracks. So, now if you just want to play a track, just remember the track number. Or, just say a random number if you want to play a song. So, for example, 26. Thousand Foot Crutch, Courtesy Call, Ruidier Silver Remix. 3. Varian, Resurrection of the Dagger. 4. And he'll just keep playing songs like I tell him to. 18. Thousand Foot Crutch, We Are, Carmage and Remix, Feet. Steve Seidelnik and Rob Per Sword. 41. Red, Hide. 69. Martin O'Donnell, Flawed Legacy. 104. Group 1 Crew, Move on. Come on. So, that's the tutorial. Not that complicated. So, here it is. Jarvis and Spotify meshed.